Hey guys, I am super excited for this vlog. I'm sure you can tell by the title that we're having baby number two. <laughs> oh, we are so excited. This is definitely not really a shocking, but kind of a surprise. Um, I think we wanted to wait until the new year to have another baby, but that's okay, right? Um, life doesn't always go as planned and Anyways, we're so excited. So um, I recorded video clips of taking pregnancy tests and just my reaction and then telling Brady and then telling all of our friends and family. Um, I also included some footage from my first doctor appointment, which we ended up having an ultrasound at. Um, we, we would have had our ultrasound a couple of weeks after my first appointment, but um, I did have some health things happen kind of at the very beginning and we weren't sure if it was a sign of a miscarriage and so we ended up doing some blood work around four and a half weeks to just double check that my HCG levels were rising and they were and they are still and they're so great. Um, but my doctor just felt like maybe we should do the ultrasound earlier. Um, than they normally do in our doctor office. So um, I will definitely include the clips of that. And then I'm hoping to kind of document this next pregnancy similar to how I did with my first. But as I'm sure most parents know who have more than one children that you don't always have the time and the energy to do the same things as you did with your first. So I'm going to try to put in the effort, but of course, I don't know what kind of vlogs I'm going to make of this. Um, <clears throat> we're super excited. I'm due in July, um, which is really fun because two other people close to me in my life are having babies in July. And that is just, it is the funnest thing in the world. <laughs> um, and... We have tons of July birthdays in my family, so it's exciting to add to the pile. And yeah, I'm super excited. So the first clip of the very first pregnancy test that I took, um, I started recording after I had first seen the test. I really, really thought it was negative and I had just the slightest idea to record my reaction, but I was like, no, it's gonna be negative. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time. Um, but when I saw the line, I immediately whipped out my camera and started recording, which is why I'm laughing in the clips because I am just like so shocked and like in disbelief. Um, it was really, really special to find out with Zoe um, in the same room. I love that you can hear her laughing and giggling and just being so excited and happy and she has no idea why. <laughs> so that was really, really fun um, to be able to do that with her there. Um, it was the hardest kept secret. I found out on a Wednesday and I didn't tell Brady until Sunday, mostly because, um, I just wanted to make sure that I officially missed my period, but I explained that in the coming clips. So I just wanted to explain kind of where I'm at on that first one. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I keep I don't even know how to prop you guys up. Maybe like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's totally there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, come here! We're gonna have a baby! <laughs> so sorry, 
idea. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I for sure thought, um, not. I for sure thought not. A couple more months sooner than we wanted, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> okay, can you see it? See? The faint line. Ah! Do you see it there? Uh. Oh yeah, you can see it. I just see good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so Zoe and I have to go pick up her medicine from the store. And so I thought, well, since I just took a test and it was positive, I thought, I'm not going to get better tests <laughs> instead of those wimpy little blue strips and confirm. I'll probably take one tomorrow because um, I'm still like... I don't know, like six, seven days away from my period starting, like super early. I'm surprised it even detected that early. My period is supposed to come on Saturday, but for some reason, um, the app that I use to track my cycles is usually off. Um, like my period usually shows up like a day or two earlier than what it predicts but when I put in the first day of my last period or when I put in like my predicted due date based on when I started my last period um, the date matched for the first day of my period without me having put it in so I don't know maybe my period was set to come this weekend and now it's not it could be um, a little nervous the reason I'm gonna get some extra tests and just test over the next couple days before I say anything to Brady is because before I got pregnant with Zoe I had a chemical pregnancy um, and that was really really hard on me that was really a really sad time because <laughs> I had gotten a positive test um, like at home and it was super faint um, probably even more faint than the test I just recorded. Um, and then I traveled down to Utah um, like the day after and I was like so excited that I bought a couple of tests, like more expensive ones. Um, while in Utah and I took them at my mom's house and um, they were both negative. Like one of them was even a digital and it said negative. And I was so confused. I was heartbroken. I wasn't like, I didn't understand what was happening. And um, like probably three or four days after that, um, my period started and anyway, just, I think the only thing I could really like come to a conclusion about is that it was a chemical pregnancy because it's very rarely does somebody get a false positive and a lot of explanations for where you get a positive and then negatives is like chemical pregnancies and other things so anyway so I'm feeling kind of nervous that's why I'm not going to say anything for a few days probably till Saturday or Sunday it's Wednesday today, so I've got a few days. <laughs> I hate that. I want to tell Brady so bad. Um, to make sure that this doesn't turn into... Oh, jeez. Turn into something that I hope it doesn't. So, anyway. Pretty crazy, really exciting at the same time. Like, I think Brady and I were both really comfortable with having a baby next year having a three-year gap um, we feel like things with Zoe are starting to get a little bit more under control with her epilepsy so that is really nice um, 
which is also one thing that we kind of wanted to get a grip on before adding another baby to the mix because we just felt like her diagnosis and stuff was just all over the place but I feel like we've kind of really been able to hone in on what's going on with her so anyways I would love to tell family on Christmas that would be so fun but I am like like so sad like I don't know that I can wait that long okay day two it's November 3rd. Um, I've got my first response <laughs> pregnancy test here. I remember when I was trying to get pregnant with Zoe, I would get like the cheap test that had the blue dye. And um, obviously they would come out negative because it took almost a year to get pregnant with her. But um, I had a friend who's had, um, kids and she would tell me like, get the first response, the pink dye tests, because it's better and more reliable than the blue dye tests. <laughs> so I always get these. I just get the cheapest one. It just comes with two tests. I don't need three, four, five, anything crazy like that. What's in here? It's just, well, oh my gosh, I'm like so nervous. I, I'm pretty pretty sure it's going to be positive um but like I said yesterday I think after the chemical pregnancy scare last time I'm just I'm just nervous all right here we go I'm so scared so I found this really cute um digital file on Etsy last night um it just says big sister and just in a really cute font and um, basically I can just import it into my silhouette craft machine and print out, print out, cut out the vinyl and then put it on a shirt for little Zozy Zo. Go from there. I am so nervous but I'm so excited. Ooh. I don't know. Um, so I work tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. Okay, hold on just a second. And then I have Sunday off. And if I have a positive test every day till then, um, I'll probably tell Brady on Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Ready? One, two. It's there. It's faint, but it's there. Not gonna lie, it made my stomach drop to see how faint it is. That kind of worries me. Especially because my period is on Saturday. But it's there, for sure. I mean, it's kind of getting darker, like, as the seconds go by. But it's still pretty faint. Um, <clears throat> keeping my fingers crossed that this sticks, that we get to keep this baby, because that would be amazing. So hopefully tomorrow it's darker, and of course again on Saturday, um, <sighs> I'm still pregnant as of right now. Hopefully it gets darker. Okay, so I know that this is after the three minutes, and so... <laughs> I guess you could consider it expired, but I'm just gonna show you from the back camera, not this front facing camera. See, you can totally see it. Again, it's past the three minutes, so this is technically like expired, but you can see the line and it's there. I am pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot even believe this. Okay, it's another day. Supposedly, my period is supposed to come tomorrow. Um, the test was faint yesterday, as you saw, and so I'm really nervous for today. But I'm trying to remind myself that no matter what happens, I'll be okay. 
whether this baby sticks and I am really pregnant. I have hope that God will help us. But if the line is fainter or not there, I'm going to be okay. So, here we go. Okay, my timer just went off. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to throw up. I'm so nervous. <sighs> it's still there. And it's definitely darker today than it was yesterday. It's still faint. But it's definitely there. So I am hopeful that it'll get darker. Oh yeah, so you can see it this time. Yesterday you couldn't even see it. That makes me happy. That makes me hopeful that it'll get darker as the days goes on. Gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Also, this is what I've had you guys propped up on. My husband's toothbrush and his lotion and then against the wall. And I've accidentally left it like that the last two days and he hasn't said anything. In fact, he's just left it there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, so you can totally see it today. It's definitely darker than yesterday, which is exciting. All right, well, I'm definitely feeling a little more hopeful, more positive today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I just like had to like push it out of my mind because I was so worried that we were gonna have another chemical pregnancy. So anyways, I'm giving you guys lots more information this time around on my pregnancy test videos than I did in the last video when I was pregnant with Zoe. Um, but I still wanted to document this time like I did last time because it was so fun. It's so fun to go back and watch that video of the different days that I take the tests and um, seeing my reaction and like telling family and it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun time. Um, I can't believe that we're going to have a July baby. <laughs> we already have one, two, three, four, five, five. Two nephews, sister, dad, sister-in-law, all in July. <laughs> now we're going to squeeze another one in there, which I think will be just fine. Um, there you go. How exciting. Okay, this is a shirt I made for Zoe to wear when we tell Brady on Sunday. It's so cute. It turned out so cute. I love it. So I think what I'm going to do is on Sunday um, after church, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to tell him like, hey, Zoe and I have a big surprise for you. But I have to get her ready. And then I'll put her in it. And then when we come out of her room, this is how I'm envisioning it, okay, you guys? I know this is, it really doesn't matter. I could just tell him right now. But I think it would be fun to involve Zoe. <clears throat> so then I'll have her, I'll tell her, I'll say, I'll say, go show daddy your shirt. And make sure that he reads her shirt. And <laughs> hope that he gets it. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so pulling out the big guns this morning. <laughs> These digital ones are so expensive. And apparently I can't get them open. Because we are going to do the digital one today. So, here we go. <gasps> wow, I'm so lucky I caught those last two seconds. That was quick. I feel like that should have taken a lot longer than it did, but there you have it. It's official. I guess I can be confident now because the digital means business. <laughs> okay, so the plan is to tell Brady tomorrow after church, hopefully. I'm still really nervous to tell him because I don't know how he's going to react. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be good. Good morning. It's the final day. 
I really probably don't need to do this, but here I am anyway. I actually really want to tell him like this morning and not after church, but I gotta read the room. <laughs> so here we go. This one is just the lines. And because the last so many who have been pregnant, I'm not gonna like wait the three minutes and come back. <laughs> Look at how quickly that showed up. Okay, so I'm gonna go out and read the room and then we'll see what happens. So in the clip where I tell Brady, um, I chose not to include his reaction um, because I knew he probably wouldn't have wanted that included. Um, but I do include a clip after he's out of frame where like he comes and gives me a hug and we're like laughing and talking um and yeah <laughs> what does it say <laughs> you're gonna be a big sister yes <laughs> see it kind of progressively. These are all expired, of course, except for that one that was this morning, but crazy. The next clips you'll see are, will be of us telling family on Christmas, which is just a couple weeks away, a few weeks away. Um, we're super excited to finally tell everyone I cannot wait to finally tell my sisters I'm like just dying because I just want to I've been so sick and just like feeling so crappy it just would be so nice to be able to talk to my mom and sisters about it and I realize that no one is making us wait but we thought it would be fun to wait until Christmas to surprise everyone um, I have told a couple of friends um, just in conversation um, and same with Brady he told his co-worker and his boss and I had to tell my bosses as well um <laughs> because I've been so sick so anyway um there's the update okay so I know I said the next clip would be telling our families but real quickly um our friends got us the sneak peek gender test so I just did that and um poked my finger it really hurt and um now I'm gonna get it mailed off and it should be there by the beginning of next week and then we should know like back in the day it said maybe that was just um like they'll confirm the next day that they have it I don't know how long it'll take to actually get results but sometime next week Oh. Is mine still in the closet? Yes. Oh, okay, bye, bye, doggy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Brady and I. Oh, this was from Brady and I. have also today been sharing the news that uh, we're expecting. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so great. Ashley, I am Brady. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So I am sitting here editing this video and I realize that I just like stopped recording, filming, all the things. <laughs> um, obviously we told our family at Christmas and it was so awesome. <sighs> um, everyone was super excited for us. Um, and we are just really, really excited. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here and Mama. hopefully 
Hi. Um, and then in the <laughs> next video, um, maybe I'll start sharing some baby stuff, our plans for... Um, Mama, I want my baby. Yep, hold on just a minute. Um, I'll share our plans for where the baby's going to stay, huh? Just kind of how we're going to fit another one in here and maybe any other adventures. Um, we also have our anatomy scan next week, so maybe I will do a little gender reveal video or something. I don't know. We'll have to see how that plays out, but we are super excited and we can't wait huh yeah <laughs>